angry guy here and men will live in a box before they give money to women. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the subject. Men will live in a box before they give money to women. You see what's happening in Western society today. Many of you guys heard about the whole situation with Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Majors. He was set to play Kang in the multiverse saga, and his life has now been uprooted. He has been fired by Disney, and he was basically found guilty of some just not absolute nonsensical things. And of course, he's going to appeal that. And I think that uh, someone by the name of Camila, Miss Camila Vasquez, potentially may step up. We'll see how that goes. But we're looking at hashtag me too v2 right now. Women are basically in a position where they're getting older. Life is getting more difficult. They are struggling financially. Some of them are making packs of deletion, saying that if they don't have a, if they haven't reached a certain point in their lives, if they don't have enough money by the time they reach a certain age, they are going to delete themselves. And you realize that, and some other guys have pointed out that their only option is to extract as much wealth and resources from men to survive, because they can no longer work these long hours and for the rest of their lives. That's something that men do. Men are built to continue going. We're built like Saiyans. We can keep on pushing well into our 60s, 70s, and even 80s. That's how strong we are. This is the reason why a 50-year-old woman cannot hold up to an 80-year-old man that's in shape. He can push on and do things in a way that a 50-year-old woman would struggle to do in terms of endurance. He is not, she is not as physically strong either as an 80-year-old man that's still in shape. And it's difficult to say that, but it's the honest-to-goodness truth. He can still work longer hours than she can. He can still lift more weight than she typically can. He can still run further than she typically can. His cognitive abilities may be sharper than hers. It's hard to put it this way, but it's the honest-to-goodness truth. And the writing is clearly on the wall right now. So what are women going to do? They're basically going to say that every guy and any guy is now an option for survival. As M2 Part 2 rages on, you're going to see even the janitor getting it. And it won't be a matter of going after simply the janitor because he's broke. No, it's going after the janitor. And then the company is going to have to pay out large amounts of money so that the case doesn't go to trial. A lot of small businesses, for example, are simply going to settle. Because, and she's, she, she has all the power. The woman has all the power in this situation. Because all she has to do is go out and get a $2 attorney and have that $2 attorney uh, basically you know, file a suit. And once the suit, it doesn't cost a lot to file a suit. And once the suit has been filed, the company has a decision. They can, they can decide to settle or they can hire an attorney that's going to charge them hundreds of thousands of dollars for defense. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. So what are they going to do? They're going to settle. In some cases, millions of dollars. So they're going to settle. It's, it's, it's extortion, but they're going to settle. And all these poor guys that have done absolutely nothing, it doesn't matter. Because a woman can say anything now, and her word is taken as is taken as gospel, is taken as fact. Men are now in a society where they are guilty until proven guilty. Even if they are proven innocent, they will still be guilty. What does that mean? Men are going to walk away. Men are already doing it. Millions and millions of men have dropped out of the workforce, and they continue to drop out of the workforce. Someone pointed out in my comments, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to tax men more. They're going to have to take those resources from men. The government is going to have to put the burden on men to provide for women in society. And they're going to do that through the tax, through additional taxation. 
However, if they do this, it will only result in men lowering the amount of money that they earn to avoid being taxed at that rate. Men don't need a lot to survive. Men can survive with very little. And it's something that women don't understand. It's something that women have never been able to truly conceive. Men don't need much to survive. Men can survive on very little and thrive on very little. It's just the way it is with men. It's just the way it has always been for men. And when men say, you know what, we're not going to marry, we're not going to have children, we're going to focus on ourselves, our own happiness, our relationship with God, men stay home, they play video games, they sleep, they eat well, they live out of a backpack, they can be gone in 30 minutes. This is the lifestyle that now a lot of men will live. And as I've said, more and more men will say, I'm not giving my money to this society. I refuse to give my money to the society. I refuse to give my money to this government. I refuse to give my money to women. Men would rather live in a box than hand that money over. And many of them are going to do just that. They will live in campers, they will live in sheds, they will live in the woods in a tent, and they will keep every dime of the money that they make, even if it's not a lot. So if they make $30,000 a year in disposable income, they're going to keep every penny of it. They will not put it into the housing market. They will not put it into even buying food. They will live very cheap. They will live on, on fumes, and they will save all of their money, they'll have a place in Costa Rica or a place in Mexico or a place in Nicaragua or what, whichever country, somewhere in the Caribbean or a place in Dominican Republic, they will have a house there or an apartment, a nice place that's fully furnished. I keep talking about this. And they will, and they will fly out of the country whenever they are ready, head over to this country and live high quality lives there walk right in, push a key, go into their homes that have, that are decked out, video games are there, television is there, everything is set up really nicely. There are women over there in that country waiting for them. They figured out how to live over there so they are safe, they are happy. This is how a lot of dudes will live. They will fly out of the country, and when they come to the U.S., they will just be in the U.S. to make their money. They'll be in the U.S., they will work hard, very, very hard, and then they will leave and it will make, you know, I talked about this and someone said it's, it's absolutely true where he knows a guy that would work something like three or four months out of the years, the year. Cause I talked about those guys who clean this, clean the snow off the streets and you know, they only work seasonally. They only work a few months out of the year, but they make enough money during that period of time so that they don't have to work for the rest of the year. So they'll work four months out of the year and then they won't work again for the rest of the year and they make enough money so that they can work. They can basically take the rest of the year off. And some, and this guy was saying, I don't know how his friend does it. This guy is making, makes a crazy amount of money. I don't remember if it was like 80, a hundred thousand dollars. He makes a crazy amount of money during that period of time. And then he takes off for the rest of the year and flies out of the country and he's gone. He's in the U S for like four months out of the year. And then he's gone for the rest of the year. Imagine that, guys. And he's in other, and he's just flying around the world chilling. And this, and the crazy thing for the average guy is the average guy can live better than the average celebrity uh, when they, you know, on these budgets. You're saying, what? That's ridiculous, angry. No, it's not. It's better to be, well, you know, have a decent amount of money, reasonable money, and be able to travel anonymously without people knowing who you are and have your privacy than it is to be famous and rich. Because these guys who are famous and rich, they're a target everywhere they go. Even as Americans, we're tar we can become targets because they think that we're rich in the rest of the world, but we're still anonymous. But these, tr these, foreign, these famous people, these celebrities, they, they don't have that. They can't just go over to another country and stay in a villa dirt cheap. You know, they have to stay somewhere else unless they end up broken and, you know, and they fade out of existence. And even then it's difficult. You know, they don't have their anonymity like we do. They don't have the ability to just disappear the way that we do so easily. 
And because of the way that these people live, they, they get used to a certain standard of living and they lose connection with reality and prices. So they no longer know how to, you know, cut back. They're used to living these crazy, extravagant lives. It took guys like Mike Tyson years to learn how to live a simple life and live and 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 and, and cut back and realize you don't need all of those things. It took Mike time a long time. Because Mike was a guy that made like hundreds of millions of dollars and he blew all of it. Blew every single penny of it. But it's understandable because so many celebrities, they don't have, as shockingly as it is, they don't have financial literacy. They basically just end up, they make more than they spend, so they remain rich. But once they're not making money anymore, they blow through everything and they have nothing left. And a lot of them, you know, they spend more than they make and they have a lot of things on credit, tons of debt, millions of millions of dollars in debt. And when they're no longer famous and something happens, they lose everything and they can't pay their bills anymore and they have to file for bankruptcy. And once they file for bankruptcy, it's hard. It's hard to rebuild from there. So you guys don't know how lucky you are. You can be anonymous. You can walk away from this, be anonymous, start over anywhere else and live these lives that these guys can't imagine. And you have your freedom. What do you guys think regarding this? Do you agree with me? Men will live in a box before they give their money to women. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. So let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away and cheers.